All right, this is how you play long-tailed winter bird. Um, somebody suggested it in the video I did yesterday. Um, how to play the longer version. Now that song is like six minutes long or something like that. So I'm not going to show you, you know, all of it, but I'm going to show you the main parts. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's play with a pick. I've seen some people do it finger style. Um, so whichever, you know, you find more comfortable, I think you should do. Um, but if you saw my last video, it's essentially the same. There is some like changes in the pattern, but I'm just going to show you it all the way through. Um, so you don't have to watch the first one to understand the second one. So um, what you want to do is put your pinky on the 12th fret of the first string. Hit that five times and then take the pinky off and hit that once. Now since you're using a pick, you can go up, down, up, down, up, down. To get to the actual speed of the song. So once you do that, you want to go to the 7th fret of the 1st string, hit that once, and then open. 5th fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret. So all together, get my phone guitar here. A little bit slower. Sweet. All right, so the next part um, on the second string it's three and then five. You can also do a slide, or you could do that third fret, second string, and then open first string. It's all the same, whichever one you think sounds best to me, either the slide or the uh. Regular notes sound good to me. So all together, it's this. Again. I tried doing this slide. I kind of messed up. But that's the first part. Okay. Um, now the second part is what you're going to have to do is you're going to play the first and the second string together. Um, so your second string is going to be in the 8th fret, so you're going to get this note. And you're going to, you can either use one finger and slide down, or you can have your pinky there and then just take it off. But after the 8th fret, it's going to go to the 7th fret. And then to the 5th fret. It's all together. Now the the hard part really um, in this section is you might end up muting that high E. So what you might want to do is slide or bend up just a little bit. So you know you can put take fingers on and off without accidentally muting that high string. So see I'm already muting it. Now this next part is you're going to alternate on the 4th and 5th fret of the 2nd string and do the exact same thing where you're playing both strings. So all together it sounds like this. Right, so that's like the main riff that you hear throughout the whole entire song. Now he does, uh, he mutes all the strings with his hand and he does kind of the dead note strum, which is just. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, obviously, if you play along with the actual song, you can get the 
dead notes exactly, but it's... Now, I'm pretty sure there's two guitars playing on this track, so we just put, you know, two tracks on top of each other. Um, and then, like, halfway through, or two-thirds through the song, he goes to uh, maybe, like, an electric acoustic thing to get, um, you know, higher-pitched notes and have it sound more loud. Um, so he just repeats that whole, you know, riff I showed you that goes out throughout the song. Right, but when he gets to this part, he just starts over and goes back to... So what you can do is once you hit that fifth note, you can just slide down and get that pinky there. And then it goes back to... And then there's the whole alternate... Sometimes you can hear that third string when I'm pretty sure um, I'm pretty sure he's actually on the bass when he hits that note so that's a D I'm pretty sure he just hits that D note on his bass um, but if you accidentally hit it you know it's okay especially when you get to that part of the song but again the song's pretty long and pretty fast so um, you know Play along with it, slow it down if you want. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole song, really. And uh, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you have any other suggestions, just put them in the comments. And I'll uh, try to figure them out. Okay, bye.